Hello, my name is Niamo Corey. And my name is Merlis Ortiz. Okay, and I know a lot of people are wondering what exactly Merlis Ortiz is doing here on Same TV Sit and Talk. So can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing here and what you do? So I am president of the Dominican Students Association here on campus. And uh, basically what the organization does is bring awareness of the culture of you know, Dominicans. So uh, we have different events on campus. Well, one event that we've had uh, in February was the Afro Latino Encuentro. We had uh, we planned this with the Black History Month Planning Committee. So we collaborated with the Caribbean Students Association, Black Student Union, African Student Union as well. So uh, in this event, we had a panel discussion in which. Um, they talked about different areas of uh, the culture of Afro-Latinos, of how, um, like the history aspect, as well as having a student uh, talk about her experience of being an Afro-Latina. We also had like West African drummers, a Puerto Rican plena group. Uh, we had food from uh, Africa, the Caribbean, and Latin America, just to show, you know, that uh, that we are so similar in the right. the foods that we eat and the music is very similar. So just bringing that awareness that us Latinos we also have African roots in our culture and just embracing that. I like the fact that you guys collaborate a lot. Because yes. I know with most clubs on campus, they like to be by themselves and they don't really yes. believe in collaborating with other clubs. And we should. We're oh. all one at the end of the day. Exactly. So I, I think like that. that's key. Like, collaborating is key. Like, for uh, ever in the fall, we do a typical night. And typical is a type of traditional uh, dance, a, di a traditional genre of music of the Dominican Republic. And we collaborate with the uh, two uh, a fraternity and sorority here on campus. So, you know, that's definitely important. Collaborating, yeah, DSA is all for it. That. Wow, and you guys were dubbed the best club of the year last year. Yes, we were. So uh, DSA was inactive for several years, and my team and I, uh, when we be changed were, it around. Yeah, we changed that. We revived it, and we were recognized. So it was, you know, quite an accomplishment for us. Wow. Okay. So for the people who want to join the DSA club, how do they go about doing that? Okay. So what they can do is, uh, you know, first they can contact us at DSA dot citycollege at gmail.com. Okay. They can email us and let us know, you know, when are we meeting and stuff. You know, every semester time does change of when we meet. So um, for this semester in particular, we meet Tuesdays uh, from 1230 to 130 in room 4125. So, um, you know, you can go to the meetings. And if you can make it to the meetings, come to the events. Help us, help us out, you know, with the planning of events. And those that are members, they can, uh, they get a scholarship. We, we offer a scholarship for our members to help them with, you know, school, paying for school, books, things of that sort. So. Okay, and you don't have to be Dominican to join this you club? You do not have to be okay. Dominican to that. join this <laughs> club. We have a lot of members that aren't Dominican in this organization, so, you know. Uh, just so the others know, you don't have to be Dominican. Okay, I love that. Yes. And you guys are also working on a project this semester and the, for the fall semester? So we're kicking off a new project, the Dominican Youth Leadership Project. And what that is about is, um, like, our members, like, what we're trying to do is go to, in our community, speak to school in schools, elementary schools, and talk about the culture of Dominican Republic. Because our younger generations kind of have a disconnection with their culture. You know, they, they don't know a lot about it. And, you know, that's something that we want to bring, uh, be able to, like, you know, bring them awareness to that. And also motivating them to wanting to go to school, college, and that kind of thing. Because uh, there's a high rate of Latinos, of Dominicans in particular, that, you know, they kind of go on the wrong track and, you know, end up doing you know, drugs and, uh, and other things that, and don't go to college. So we want to change that. We want to change that. So, okay. so what are the expectations of this project, though? So besides going to other schools, what type of, uh, you know, people do you want to be involved in this? Uh, is it just the club? Is it the community? Is it just this, you know? So what we would be doing is the members would be the, uh, having the, the students, us students in City College, speak to them because um, they kind of have this, you know, seeing that somebody of, of you know, a peer of them, like a, a younger uh, person, rather an adult, is there, you know, that brings that connection. Right. But all, other than that, we also want to uh, collaborate with professionals as well, have them come and talk to them about resume writing or, you know, different fields that they're focusing on. If they're a uh, finan financial analyst, have somebody of that, like, of that sort come and speak to the students as well, you know, that we're partnering with different people. Wow, I feel like 
just by hearing that, everyone would want to join this project. It sounds yeah. like an amazing project. So where can they contact you? I just want to yes. put that in there again so they know where to contact so you. So dsa.citycollege at gmail.com. So just shoot us an email and, you know, we'll respond to any questions or anything. Okay, thank you so much for taking the time out to speak to us here at Same TV Sit Talk. Uh, thank you for having me. No problem.